Welcome back, everybody. Great to have you here back at Altcoin Daily, uh, where, as I'm sure you know, we're going to be talking about nulls, cryptocurrency. Null is nothing, but nulls is anything you want in a blockchain world. And honestly, guys, I am not surprised at all you guys decided to click on my video for nulls because I was watching some of these other YouTubers' videos on you know their analysis of nulls, and I couldn't figure out what they were saying. I mean, they were reading the website, but they weren't breaking things down at all. So real quick, if you're new to the channel, just to let you know what Altcoin Daily does, we bring you daily altcoin information. Every day, you're going to either find out the news, market strategies, or we'll do a deep dive on the latest ICOs or the most relevant altcoins. And, you know, we're going to be taking, taking you through it. So I recommend you guys follow my channel because here's the thing. As I'm sure you might know, there are hundreds of bad <laughs> cryptocurrency YouTube channels, and there are tens of good ones. And my goal for Altcoin Daily is to be one of the great ones. So anyways, you guys are going to want to subscribe. And let me tell you all about Nulls. My, my hope is that after you watch this video, you will not only understand what Nulls is, what Nulls goals are, but also how they fit in the whole cryptocurrency world. Because like I said, I was watching some of these other guys' videos and trying to like, you know, see what they were saying and they weren't making things any easier. I mean, even if you just read their site, Nulls doesn't like make things easy for you. So I'm gonna try and break things down for you. Let's get into it. So, Nulls. Um, let's just, what, what, what do they say? And when I read this, I couldn't believe how n hard to understand it was. Nulls is a global blockchain open source project, which is a highly customizable, modular blockchain infrastructure. It consists of a microkernel and functional modules. Nulls provides smart contract, multi-chain mechanism, and cross-chain consensus. It aims to break the technological barrier of blockchain to reduce the cost. Oh my God, this is, I don't even know. Oh, th this will be easier. Okay, their mission currently the blockchain sector is struggling with making blockchain technologies flexible and convenient. Well, I agree with that. At Nulls, our mission is to build a customizable, universal public blockchain infrastructure. Building a customizable, huh, there's that word again. There's that word again. Building a customizable infrastructure, our goal is to be helping enterprises improve credibility by deploying their own decentralized applications in the blockchain. Anyways, that's what they say. Their mission statement and their front page of their website, very hard to understand, in my opinion. I made some notes here. Let me tell you what Nulls is. So first of all, Nulls is the same type of technology. Let me compare it to other cryptocurrencies that you do know of. It's comparable to Ether. It's comparable to NEO. It's comparable to EOS or LISC. So basically, it is a you know blockchain platform, a customizable universal public blockchain platform so developers and companies are going to come over to nulls much like you know they have came over to ethereum in the past year and they're going to build their own blockchain on nulls is uh, system so why would a developer or why would a company choose nulls over ethereum or choose nulls over neo well i'm going to tell you what null says well why do they say you know companies are going to want to come to them so it's a customizable universal public blockchain. What customizable means is, you know, developers are able to create blockchains, proof of work, proof of stake, a hybrid, private blockchain, public blockchain, whatever you want your blockchain to be, Nulls is gonna, you're gonna be able to do it using Nulls' system. Another reason why developers would choose Nulls is because, um, I don't know if you know it or not, but if Ethereum, you know, they they have saturated the market right now on for a you know blockchain platform the problem with ethereum is the programming language that a developer has to use to develop something on ethereum it's you know ethereum has its own language so i mean there are there are a shortage of good um developers in the first place but not only that there's such a huge barrier to entry because these developers they have to learn a totally new programming language now with nulls um, you know, they want to be language agnostic. You're going to be able to use Java. You're going to be able to use, you know, C plus, 
uh, you know, they have a list somewhere here, but you know, basically what they want to be is language agnostic. Also, another reason uh, why you would choose nulls is that uh, very easy to update and you don't have to fork. I mean, you guys have been hearing, you know, light, Litecoin is, might fork soon, Bitcoin forked in a Bitcoin cash. And, you know, the reason that happens is because some developers or people who own a lot of the coin, um, you know, they say, huh, well, you know, we have a real problem here with the current system. Let's fork it, totally new system, um, you know, to make it how we, how we see it. The, the cool thing about nulls is that uh, you don't have to fork it because what you can do is you can... Uh, update it or change things um, without having to, uh, you know, lose all your information or, or start again. Uh, also, nulls is open source. Um, so you don't have to write a blockchain from scratch. Uh, see, uh, you know, they're targeting enterprises and companies um, at nulls. And the thing is, enterprise companies, a lot of them probably want to use blockchain, but they don't want to invest money in creating their own blockchain. So they'd come to nulls. Um, you know, so nulls has its own token, which is what you would invest in. Um, you know, nulls token supports nulls applications. Uh, it pays for the cost of the app, rewards miners, it pays fees. A cool thing about nulls is that uh, they have what's called a side chain. I don't know if you can see any of that here. Hmm. This information's around somewhere, but I wrote it down, so I'm just going to tell it to you. Um, so first of all, Ethereum had major problems this year with the transactions per second. You know when they, you know, made the uh, application CryptoKitties. Um, you know, Ethereum could only handle what, like, ten transactions per second, and that really slowed things down. Now, other, you know, companies like Neo or uh, you know stuff like that, they can handle a lot more. What's cool about Nulls? is that they can handle thousands of transactions per second, but since they have things called side chains, so when a company comes and decides to create a platform, uh, cr to create their own cryptocurrency on nulls, that company, through nulls, will have its own tokens, its own coins to trade. Um, and they will have its own blockchain that, yes, it's connected to the nulls blockchain, but it's called a side chain. So they, the whole network won't get bogged down by transactions from, you know, a hundred different companies because, you know, that one company is going to be able to, you know, run its own transactions on its own blockchain. Um, and so, you know, it has its potential uh, to do millions of transactions per second if you, um, you know, include the side chains. I wanted to read this for you guys. Flexibility. All the modules of nulls are pluggable and replaceable within the blockchain, which permits flexibility. This includes networking, consensus, storage, and algorithm, algorithmic modules. Nulls can be arranged as a private or public chain, enabling companies the opportunity to replace these built-in modules with suitable applications. So what this is, this is saying, and I talked about this, you know, no hard forking, is that if you want to change something or replace something, you'll be able to, uh, you know, take out the module fix it up however you want, and keep going with it without having to hard fork or start all over again. Um, okay, roadmap. Before we get into the roadmap, I want to, this was a nifty little graphic. It's, it's uh, I don't know the original person who made this, because I just have the image right here, but this is nulls versus all the others. And, you know, uh, just type this in on Google to check it out for yourself. I just want to point out a few things. So nulls is a uh, proof of credit, um, and that's very close to a uh, proof of stake. Um, you know, Ethereum right now is proof of work. Um, it can handle, uh, its block time is 10 seconds. It can handle 2,000 uh, transactions per second, but millions if you include the uh, subchains. Um, Okay. Yeah, I can do public blockchains, private blockchains. So, I mean, here's the thing. I, I you know, I, you guys should, if you're interested in getting into nulls, check out this list because nulls, you know, maybe necessarily it's not even, you know, necessarily the best. For instance, Neo uh, can do uh, ten thousand tr uh, transactions per second, but they don't have any of the side chains or sub chains. 
Um, so definitely check this out. All right, next. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the roadmap. Um, OK, so the roadmap is broken down right now into ice, which covers the first half of 2018. And then we go to water. And then things really start heating up as they go to steam. So let's check it out. So this is uh, it's laying out some of their plans for early 2018. Um, you know, they want to get the main net launched. Uh, they want to get smart contracts, support, support in three programming language. Um, they want to have at least three applications running. And that's just in the first part of 2018. So, you know, relatively new, you know. And uh, as we'll go over the market cap later, you know, that's why the price is so low. Second, water. Uh, they don't have exact dates for this, but this obviously comes after the ice stage. Um, you know, they want to get uh, five subchains running. And, you know, a subchain, like I said, that'll be a, an enterprise or a large company creating a subchain on their network. Uh, so they want to do that in the water stage. Uh, they want to get 15 applications running and provide tech solutions for at least three industries. You know, what that means is that an industry, say, I'm just spitballing here, say, like the uh, uh, electric industry or the food service industry, could they create a blockchain that would make their lives easier and bringing industries involved on the Nulls uh, platform. Well, that's their goal. And then if we get over to the Steam stage, you know, they're just continuing. They want to get 30 subchains running, 50 applications, and tech solutions for at least 20 industries. Wow, that's cool. You know, here's the thing. Nulls is still very early on. They don't have that much yet. You know, that's, you know, if you wanted to get invested at this stage, you know, that's the risk you take for the potential reward later. Anyways, the team. Now, you know, the, the team, I struggle with. You, there's some guys here who, who they've done some cool stuff, but I want to read to you guys every single person's bio. If you're interested, just come over to their site and check it out. Let's just, for instance, Jason is the founder and lead developer. So he has seven years of experience in the programming field, six years experience in the banking security sector, and has designed security systems for dozens of banks in China. He is familiar with nearly all cryptographic algorithms. PKI standards, PKCS standards. He has worked for KiU, which has partnered with most of China's banks. Um, anyway, he's the lead developer and uh, founder of Nulls. Um, they have a, you know, their team is relatively small. They're obviously, they're looking to expand, uh, but they have many developers, and, uh, you know, we'll see. They say about their team the core members are highly experienced and well-versed blockchain technology enthusiasts with experience in managing community operation. Their shared purpose and philosophical ideology led them together to, to develop a novel blockchain internet economy that aims to simplify trust in the blockchain technologies. Anyway, okay, guys, sometimes it is difficult to really like put things into perspective. I found this guy, this guy is named George Tung, and he really put things into perspective. I'll leave a link to this whole article so you can check it out for yourself. But this article was so great because he really like breaks it down for the layman's and like puts things into perspective for you. So we're just gonna go through this article. He wrote this article a couple a couple weeks ago when uh, Null's price was hovering at 460. Now it's at 326, so significantly lower. I mean, they've had their highest highs at around almost $8 in early January and you know right now it's 326 and he wrote this article when it was a 460 but anyway let's get into it he says could it be an ethereum killer um so i mean this first part he just talks about how ethereum can't handle uh you know all the transactions per second so let's start here uh, nulls and generation three coins, just like how enterprise clients are not waiting for Ethereum to fix their issues in transactions, uh, nor are the competitors. We now have a whole new generation of blockchain being developed that promises to fix what Ethereum struggles with. These are considered generation three enterprise platform coins. That's what nulls is. Generation three coins primarily focus on two main things. The first is super high throughput, which allows thousands to millions of transactions to be conducted per second. And the second is interoperability between blockchains. Like, can the blockchains stay connected and talk to each other? 
Since there are more and more blockchains being released in the cryptocurrency space, Generation 3 platforms are built so that all these blockchains can talk to each other and become a bigger ecosystem. Nulls is a new company out of China uh, currently developing a new Generation 3 platform. The cryptocurrency jumped to a high of 850 a couple weeks ago, and we'll get to why that's important in a bit. Uh, this is just this guy's opinion, by the way, but I think he really breaks it down. Nulls is taking a modular approach with its blockchain, meaning everything is treated like it's a module. This includes its smart contracts, ledger, storage, network, accounts, consensus, and processor. The reason for this is that any of the modules within the blockchain can be removed and upgraded without taking the whole thing down. That means hard forks are a thing of the past. That's an improvement. So why Null's modular approach is significant? The modular approach also helps with transactions and interoperability. Nulls is built to handle sidechains, which are separate blockchains that share resources with the main blockchain. With this kind of setup, many of the operational transactions with messaging, voting, payments, and accounting are offloaded and therefore not clogging up the main blockchain. You know, as I said, that's a problem with Ethereum. It gets clogged up. Anyways. Extending on the benefits of being modular, Nulls built the platform to work with many different kinds of consensus mechanisms. Uh, that means side chains or other blockchains that might be, be utilizing uh, POS, POW, all this stuff. They can all talk to each other using Nulls. Nulls has already announced its first client, Inchain, Inchain which occupies the anti-counterfeit space and has some ties to the Chinese government will be occupying their own side chain that will utilize Nulls blockchain. So that's the first enterprise to, um, you know, choose Nulls to, you know, build their platform on, build their uh, blockchain on. That is only the beginning. I spoke with the English community manager from Nulls, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I want to get into this. Nulls price potential. So this guy breaks it down. Um, when Nulls was at 460, this was right before the uh, the big crash we had in the beginning of January. Um, you know, it's gone down since then, but still, I mean, just the, his general ideas he presents are very interesting. So currently, Nulls is priced at 460, with an overall market cap of around 110 million. I you know right now when I'm making this video, it's 326, with a market cap of less less than that. It's just 76 million. Uh, so the decrease from its highs. Are from the correction the whole market experienced the last few weeks. Take a look at Nulls in comparison with some of its competitors. Cardano, $17 billion market cap. EOS, $9 billion. Icon, $3 billion. Ardor, $1 billion. And as I said, Nulls right now is still under $100 million. So based on the current price and the market positions, Nulls is 10 times cheaper than its nearest competitor and 100 times less than Cardano or EOS. That alone makes me extremely excited about the potential. Null's main platform launch is in March, which is much farther along than some of the other Generation 3 platforms. From a technology perspective, the modular approach of upgrades and unique consensus mechanism that allows it to communicate with basically any blockchain really gives Nulls a leg up. Getting in with Nulls at these levels is the same as getting in Ethereum, Ripple, Neo a year ago when they were dirt cheap. I see nulls will moonshot potential. I see nulls with moonshot potential, which means it can grow 10 to 20 times in the near future. With adoption, nulls has 100 times potential in the long term. Uh, so this guy, you know, his YouTube channel is called Cryptos Are Us. Um, his name is George Tong. I really like him. I think he really cuts through all the bullshit and really simplifies things. You know, as I said, nulls is competing with Neo, Ethereum. Uh, you know, that guy's opinion, you know, he thinks it's going to be a real competitor to NEO and Ethereum. You know, imagine if NEO or Ethereum were priced at 126 today. You know, nobody knew they'd go up as far as they have gone up. Now, Nulls is still very early, you know, in their roadmap. So the risk you take is, you know, do you want to invest when it's still under $10? It's still, you know, way lower than its highest high which was over $8, so 360 or anyways, just put it on your radar. Keep watching it. Uh, you know, some people think it can easily compete with NEO, easily compete with Ethereum. Uh, I like it. I think it has a lot of room to grow at under $4. Uh, you know, I think you'd make money. I'm no financial expert. I'm just some guy. Anyways, guys, 
Thank you very much. Check out some of my other videos on Altcoin Daily. We're bringing you daily information, the most current, the most relevant information. Uh, I did a deep dive on Power Ledger the other day. Check that out. Anyways, peace.